Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video I've got another 2 Minute Tuesday and Tuesday tip collaboration with the AutoCAD blog where I wrote an article for their Tuesday tips uh, series and I create a video to go with my 2 Minute Tuesday videos. Uh, so in today's episode we're going to be talking about our text or remote text uh, as you'll read in the article, which I'll link below, uh, our text isn't used uh, nearly as much anymore, but it can still be super useful for a few specific things. Uh, and the one that I'm going to show you guys today is the ability to have text in your drawing that's dynamically linked to an external text file, a TXT file. Uh, this way you can have standard notes, disclaimers, uh, or copyright say text that is common between a lot of drawings uh, but would also need to be updated uh, commonly throughout them all. In the case of say a copyright or a legal disclaimer maybe you need to update all of your drawings with a new date uh, for a copyright or for a new disclaimer. Uh, by updating this source text file all of your drawings will update automatically when opened or saved or uh, when using the regen command. So let's get started uh, and we're going to try and keep this one short. Uh, so let's get going. <laughs> Alright, so to get started you can start the command uh, from the Express Tools tab along the ribbon at the top, or you can use the R text command. Uh, up along the top here, it's under this text uh, slide down, and then you choose Remote Text. Now we've got our text prompt down here, and you can see you can change your uh, default settings like style, height, rotation. You can also see what they're currently set to up above. Uh, we're going to use the default, which is to choose a file you'd like to import into your drawing. Uh, you can also use uh, diesel expressions. Uh, for the most part, I would stick to fields though. If you haven't checked out my uh, fields video or the article on the blog, I recommend those. Uh, for the most part, they'll do the same sort of thing as many of the diesel commands and expressions uh, and are a little easier and more common to work with. Uh, so let's continue with this one. We're gonna just choose our text file. And to do that, we can hit enter. And you can see here, I've got an example uh, text file. I'll uh, open it up. So I'll bring my Windows Explorer over here. Open up the file so you can see what we're gonna bring in. So in our case, I'm just using uh, some random text, but this could be your typical note, a disclaimer, a copyright, something that you may use in a lot of drawings, but you want to be easily updated in all of them. Uh, this could be project specific, like a set of notes for one project that needs to show up on a bunch of drawings, or it could be a company-wide thing, like a company copyright or a legal disclaimer. So I'm going to close this uh, text file, and we're going to bring it into our drawing by selecting it here and hitting open. So now it simply needs a base point. I'm just going to drop it here. We can move it once it's in. It needs you to hit enter now to finalize, or you can change your style, height, or rotation. I'm just going to hit enter because you can also change your settings similar to mText by selecting the uh, rText object, opening up your properties, and you can see over here you can change your styles. So we can just change it to standard, we could change it to 1 8 inch, and we can move it around to where we might like it. So now, this text will automatically update based on that text file. So if we bring up our text file, so here it is here, and we make a change. So I'm just gonna add in a piece of text here. So now that we've added a piece of text, I simply need to save the text and close it. And now when we're in our drawing, if we use the regen command or save or open a drawing, the text is going to automatically update uh, based on our text file. This can save you a ton of time 
uh, especially if you have a lot of drawings using similar notes or disclaimers. Uh, and it's something that often gets missed. Uh, I know fields in general can do a lot of what Artex used to, uh, but I still think there's a use and I don't think enough people uh, use this functionality. Uh, one little note is that Express Tools, uh, if they're not installed on somebody's machine that opens this drawing, they're gonna get an error uh, saying they can't display this, they might get a box. Um, to solve that, simply uh, select your R text before uh, sending this drawing out and explode it. And while that will break the link, that's probably for the best anyway because whoever you're sending this file to isn't going to have the same file structure and this link, uh, linked file text. So simply explode it to uh, convert it automatically to a simple mText object. This can also be a great way just to get a bunch of text into your drawing by rtexting it in, exploding it, and it's right there uh, in the way that you wanted it formatted. That's it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to check the link in the description to go and see this article uh, and get a little bit more information. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.